This is question number 28 from the June 2016 Algebra Regions exam. Amy solved the equation 2x squared plus 5x minus 42 equals 0. She stated that the solutions to the equation were 7 over 2 and negative 6. Do you agree with Amy's solutions? Explain why or why not. Now this question is actually not too bad because the potential solutions are given to us. So we don't actually need to factor and solve this equation ourselves. All we need to do to check and see if these um, solutions are true is uh, with substitution. So what we're going to do is one at a time, we're going to re replace all the x's in the equation with 7 over 2, see if the equation is true, and then we'll do the same thing with negative 6. So let's start off with 7 over 2. I'm going to write out the equation, but instead of x, I'm going to replace it with 7 over 2. I'm going to substitute it. So 2 times 7 over 2 squared plus 5 times 7 over 2 minus 42. And we're trying to see if this, in, in fact, does equal 0. So let's find out. Uh, 7 over 2 squared is the same thing as 49 over 4. And then um, that's going to become this 2 will cancel out, and this will become a 2, so that's 49 over 2. Here we're going to be multiplying 5 times 7 over 2, that becomes 35 over 2, and we'll just leave that minus 42 as it is. Now uh, we can add these fractions together pretty quickly because they have the same denominator, so we'll do 49 plus 35, that gets us 84, and 84 over 2 is 42. So you can see 42 minus 42 does in fact get us an answer of 0. So that means that solution is correct. Now let's try it with an x value of negative 6. Okay, so let's do that over here. So 2 times negative 6 squared plus 5 times negative 6 minus 42. So this becomes 2 times positive 36, which is 72. Um, and then 5 times negative 6 is negative 30, so it's going to be plus negative 30 minus 42. And adding negative 30 is just the same thing as subtracting 30. And then you can see here if we solve this, it does in fact equal 0. So that proves that both of these solutions that Amy had are true. So you'd say, yes, I agree with her solutions through uh, the method of substitution. And just so you know, we could, uh, there is another method of solving this, and that would be to actually factor the equation and solve it ourselves. And the two different ways you could do that, one is by completing the square. Uh, the other method is um, factoring by grouping, uh, because the coefficient in front of the x squared is a 2. Basically what you do is you multiply 8 times your c's together. 2 times 42 is 84. So you're looking for two numbers that multiply to get 84 and add to get 5. I'm not going to go into more detail of, of how to go through that. It'll take a little while, but I just want you to know that you could factor it yourself and get to the same solution that Amy had, but those were the two answers. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.